our field Yates and our fantasy expert, Matthew Berry, uh, insider. I, he, I can't give you the extra thing, but I... Many I, hats. I'll take it. That's right. That's right. All he right, knows his stuff. He, you can leave it at yes, that. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. All right, so let's talk. Let's break this down a little bit further with the tight ends. No question Gronk is in your top five. He's one of your... Or he's just a first-round pick, right? But my question is, is he your first pick overall? He's not my first pick overall, although there are some terms of targets inside an opponent's 10-yard line among tight ends. I think the touchdown rate goes up a little bit. They're going to throw a little bit more, especially with Le'Veon Bell missing the first three games. Heath Miller is a guy you can get super deep, but will be a top 12 tight end at the end of the year. I'm hanging on your every word. Good stuff, you guys. Fantasy expert of the linebacker position. That makes it so difficult to bounce back. Well, they're, it's a little bit different depending on where you line up, yeah. as you know, but there's strength in the back when you're yeah. coming back from an ACL. What do you think, Antonio? Can Kiko duplicate what he did with the Bills now in, with Chip Kelly's Eagles? He had an outstanding rookie year. When you watch him talk, got pick up for the Eagles. We're going to see once the season starts. You know, it helps both Bowman and Alonso. They were there working out in the spring. One of the big issues post-ACL is confidence in the knee. So I like the fact they were able to get on the field and work a bit before they hit camp. For sure, for sure. And as far as the Texans or Davion Clown, I feel like that was it's like some Darth Maul action from <laughs> Star Wars or something. He's not done or either. Uh, what what might the catcher be thinking? Oh, at look this at that! Point, look right? at it's like he's, it's he's, like he's in a Broadway musical. He's, one of, he's, he's trying to kick dirt or, or river dance <laughs> or river dance. Now. Well, he also looked into the dugout and turned his back completely to the yes. pitcher. Yes. So I imagine the big leagues, they would have hit right between the one and the two. <laughs> uh, but then again, like, his swing is not that great, so I don't know if you want to hit this guy, but, you know. Yeah, uh, don't put him on yeah, base. Him on the jump, what, might he be, what, it, what might he be like on the base path? And, and then he'd hit like that. And, you know, guy hit 40 home runs. Or, you know, I mean, I don't it worked know. for him. It worked. Yeah. But yeah. certainly uh, hitting instructors would never tell no, no a, a hitter to square I mean, up you're completely literally, to the pitcher. You're standing to the pitcher. I mean, all this. But you see, you always hear, like, Little League, always elbow up, elbow up, which is totally, totally out of your game. Sure. Do guys bust each other's chops in the clubhouse, you know, about oh. weird batting stances? Yeah, and, and also just the rituals, like you said, like Hargrove with the gloves. But, you know, Nomar, we saw, you know, all the, sure. you know the, people just have routine for it takes, and everybody's different with it. A lot of that it goes back to superstitions, too. P players, obviously, once they find what works for them, they like to do s the same thing over and over again. Mm. Did you have, forget the batting stance for a second, did you have things as a player, I know some guys are very meticulous with their uniform and the way they would wear their socks yes. and everything else. W what were you really superstitious about? I was on the low end of superstition, but right. I one year I played as really yeah. So I'm going to go lefty on you guys. Can I switch yeah, over? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. This is how he was, actually. <laughs> he literally was that low. Yeah. And his swing was came straight up. So it was home run, foul out to the catcher, or strikeout. That was like that was pretty, it. That's pretty much what Well, happened. he wanted to tie into that power from the lower half, maybe. Yeah, I mean, he wanted to use his legs and, and yeah, come up with the ball. I, so I've, I don't know how he did it, but like I said, it, you realize after time it's about being in the right position at the right time. Doesn't matter how you start. Yeah. Doesn't matter as long as you get I remember a guy, I'm dating myself. I remember a guy played in the 70s, Tito Fuentes, used to take the bat with the barrel. You have to the take barrel. the bat now. You have oh. to take the bat Well, there's the no way I could do it because you need a home plate to do it. But he oh. would take the bat like this Bam. and he would pound <laughs> the handle and it would flip up and he would catch it. But it would flip yeah. one and a half rotations and he would catch it on the handle. I mean, perfect every time. I used to love it. Yeah, it was I great fun. It, yeah, I mean, and pitchers do the same thing. Like, it's all r routine, ritual, baseball. Yeah. Hey, that's why we love it, right? Superstition. Yeah, that is. Everybody is different in the plate. And now <laughs> we've seen something from a Japanese player that yes, hard to describe and we'll probably never see it. And again. Doug, you didn't break anything, so congratulations on that Thank one. Thank you. Well, you know, and your stand still looks I, pretty good. Can I take the screen home? This would be awesome for a <laughs> nice living room television. World Series. Doug, thanks. All right, man.